Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Part 9. Greetings, Altair. Uh, what we're news? We're going to talk to the Rafik. We're going to do some Holds investigation. And I got some terrible man. fail moments to show you guys. He's the leader of the Knights Teutonic. He resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most helpful. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafi. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No. It was I who erred. I believed myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safe. See now, a lot of character growth here because you know they're starting to, you know, Altair finally decided to unfuck himself and not be an arrogant ass, and the other assassins are starting to see that. Now here's my fail montage through here. Uh, I was trying to get to this viewpoint, and that happened. And then attempt number two, that happened. Attempt number three. Attempt number four. Uh, this is where the cursing began. Attempt number five. Uh, there was a lot more cursing. Attempt number six. I almost just put the game down for the day. And then that happened. So I didn't have a good time at the docks trying to get to that viewpoint. Um, <laughs> I was very tired when I played the game, it's getting worse. and I oh, wanted to get through this part. And he's doubled our shit. No one sleeps. Wasn't so bad till he decided to make the port his home. He's planning something at sea. That's why he came here. Planning what? What's the meaning of this? The two of you off in a corner, whispering, plotting, nothing of the sort. We were only only what? What secrets are you keeping? You misunderstand. Damned assassins, they're probably here right now, watching us. Do you find this amusing? Do you? Pull off while you can. Double the patrols. Which ones? All of them. But we don't have the men. Find them. Recall our knights from the field if you must. Uh, so Brand is also the only assassination target that you will see during the investigation memories, but he immediately disappears once that cutscene's done. Uh, going back to the failing part where I kept drowning, <laughs> I was so tired, and I just, I, I wanted to play it, uh, I wanted to kill some time, and I didn't want to go to bed yet, and a game like, w with some of these platforming mechanics, or well, at least the first one where you can't swim, it's not a good idea to play it tired, just go to bed. <laughs> so that was, that was probably the biggest screw up I had through this entire playthrough um, actually there's no probably about it it was definitely the biggest screw up I had through this entire playthrough um, and I know you know the popular thing is to not show like your fuck ups or anything but I just thought that was kind of amusing because I'm sure anybody that's played this game can identify where you have these moments where the platforming at times can be like I've said in the past it can get kind of wonky because the engine wants to do something stupid that's uh, not what you wanted to do, but as long as you anticipate these stupid moments, you should be okay. And, uh, yeah, I just wasn't anticipating those stupid moments through that section. The beggars that beg nobody else for money, just you. And then you can't even push through them. It's like, once they're in front of you begging you for money, their feet are fucking planted in that cement, and they're not going anywhere. I stalked this guy for a while, because at this point in the game, the guards are pretty, uh... There's not a whole lot you can get away with, so I wanted to make sure there was nobody around, and... Uh, if you've been following this... Uh, these, these videos, I had a couple... In interrogations not go so well because of... The, uh, the brawlers there wanted to get involved. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I still ended up getting the fucking brawler involved. It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah ad -Din intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> Much like uh, Garnier and Robert, Sibrand is an actual historic figure. He was the historical leader of the Knights Teutonic. Uh, he was addressed as Maester Sabrand from like 1190 to 1192. So this sort of lines up at that time period, you know, and I already went into how they address the discrepancies in actual history and what happens in the game. And actually, too, you know, I talked about how the uh, Abul Nukud assassination was probably one of my favorites. This one is up there too. I, I quite like this, this this mission. Um You tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made at the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. I was kind of nervous about this pickpocketing because of the crazy dude wandered around on the right-hand side where the soldier just went. Thankfully, uh, I got around, yeah, I got around him. He didn't alert anybody of my presence, but then that happened. Like, if Lucy did all the programming, she's kind of a bitch for making the beggars and the crazy drunk dudes only fuck with you. So for that, she kind of deserved the stabbing she gets later on in the series. And there's no cut here because it's pretty quick where I come across a, uh, a the Assassin's Bureau. So we'll go talk to the Rafiq, and then we'll go start our assassination mission. Which, and I'm going to show you something leading up to that that might help you out if you ever decide to replay this game and you might not have known about this. Share your knowledge with me then. The brand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Now before you go and activate the assassination memory, if you go over here, this is the far right side of the, the dock, and get on this bridge, if you take care of these guys, and uh, get them four guys up there. I thought maybe they'd avoid me, but they didn't, so I ended up taking care of them anyways. 
But if you get rid of these guys and clear out this section, it'll actually help you with the assassination because if you wait, Sabran, I think you can get him before he gets to the boat, I can't remember for sure. But if Sabran will be on this boat, and I don't know if he orders the troops away if you don't kill them, but the three times that I've done this mission, I've always killed these guys just for the sake of making it easier on me. And they've never, they don't respawn, so it's just Sabrand on the boat. I, maybe I will go back one of these days and not take them guys out and see if possibly they don't respawn, or if they're there when he gets there. I don't know, but there's no harm in eliminating them just in case that they would be there when he's on the boat and then it kind of throws a bit of a wrench in your scheme what am i to make of this i i live a simple life my lord as with all men of the cloth it is not for us to call attention to ourselves perhaps or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of god but an assassin never you wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing. Which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, oh, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident. And they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then surely the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand! You've gone mad! Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. It seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Arkle! Hey, vigilant men, report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work. This uh, cutscene was nice because it really showed how far his paranoia just like drove him to this, to the edge of sanity there, you know. Where, for all intents and purposes, I mean, he executed an innocent man who he had no proof that he was an assassin other than he what wore white robes you know and uh it, there's a glitch that it can occur here too where he won't have his helmet on and also if you've never played this game and you're thinking about buying it don't push him into the water because it'll cause a desync desync you are afraid of course i am afraid but you'll be safe now held in the arms of your god have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this light is all we have. Linger a while longer, then. And tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea to keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements once we... once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause. Same as you. Also, he's the only one that really shows true fear of death, which is a nice uh, break from the other guys that were just kind of like, 
upset that their work was interrupted. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiyaf and inform Al Mu'allim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. And we have officially finished all the assassinations in Accra. So all we have left is one in Damascus and one in Jerusalem. So we're nearing the end here pretty quick. So we'll be wrapping this up pretty soon and then get started on Assassin's Creed 2, which I can't wait. Because as I've stated numerous times, that's my favorite. Remember to reach out for ledges should you fall while climbing. But uh, finish up here with Welcome home, child. talking to Al What news? Another of the names is put to rest. Then it would appear your work is nearly complete and your status restored. A question, Master, if I may. Ask and I will answer. Why these men, Jubayer and Sabrand? Ah, don't you see? They paved the way for change. Ensure threats both old and new are not given cause to intervene. To weaken them is to weaken our enemy. I suppose that makes sense. Were these men to continue their work, our work would quickly be undone. How is that? We've caused them much grief. We strike at the arms, yes. But this is a hydra that you face, and it is quick to replace that which is severed. Then we should lop off its head and be done with this. Soon, soon. We are close. Only one more man stands between us and our ultimate goal. I will return to my work. The sooner this last man dies, the sooner I might face our true enemy. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all mankind might see the same. What is the world, then? An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. Do you see now why the Templars are a threat? Whereas we would dispel the illusion, they would use it to rule. Yes to reshape the world in an image more pleasing to them. That is why I sent you to steal their treasure. That is why I keep it locked away. And that is why you kill them. So long as even one survives, so too does their desire to create a new world order. Take your equipment. Seek out this last man. With his death, Robert de Sable will at last be vulnerable. It will be done. Safety and peace upon you, Altair. Alright, we're going to wrap this one up, and then we'll go after Jubair in the next one. And then uh, we'll be rolling on to the end. But like always, I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.